So this is, uh, this is the DAA icon. It is currently being served at a rate of one trillion times a month globally, thanks in large part to all of you. All of you are participating in this in one way or another. Um, uh, obviously, there are some folks who are more active than others, but clearly, this takes an industry to do. It, the, the saying is it takes a, vill a village. In this case, it takes an industry. A trillion times a month is not easy to do. Um, this is really self-regulation in action. And you can see it everywhere. Um, th this is a small screen grab that I did. Uh, it's still true today. This is from the desktop. Um, but you can see big publisher sites, small publisher sites, content publishers, service publishers, big advertisers, small advertisers, local advertisers even. And all of that comes from a standardized way to communicate with consumers about privacy. Privacy is not an easy topic to discuss with consumers. We've all, for many years, for 15, 20 years, have relied on privacy policies, which are difficult lengthy, they have to be, for many good reasons. But in this case, there is a standardized platform to, con to communicate with consumers about interest-based advertising and the privacy safeguards that you, as companies, through the DAA, through IAB, have agreed to provide to consumers. So how does everybody win? 73% of consumers tell us that they love the safeguards that the DAA program provides, that you all provide through the DAA program. That's the way to think about it. So things like being able to make a choice about interest-based advertising, big deal. Um, being able to say that there are certain data collection limits that you impose, big deal. Being able to say that the, uh, that the principles are independently enforced, big deal. Consumers love that, 73% of them do. 51% say, if I see the icon on top of an ad, I'm more likely to click on it. Big deal, right? And we know from research that we did earlier this year, and again, thank you to Randall for uh, letting us speak at the uh, IABALM uh, uh, in California earlier this year, that online value spikes when data is used to create relevance. That's not a surprise to any of you all. You all live this day in and day out. But you know what the big deal is here? A lot of folks in Washington don't know this. A lot of folks who think that they need to regulate this business don't understand the fundamental economics around data, relevance, and how consumers get served convenience and um, are, made to, are made to feel like they're in control inside this, um, inside this ecosystem. We know that because consumers click on interest-based ads more than two times than generic ads. We know that more than 50%, close to two-thirds, depending on where you are uh, uh, in terms of um, ranking, are using data and data-driven marketing as a way to generate relevance. We know that the metrics and data around, the, around this return on investment, other metrics, create the justification that's necessary for the advertising industry to continue to invest in digital and in mobile. More on that in a minute, or right now, <laughs> excuse me. So last year, um, DAA rolled out its mobile guidance. Um, uh, our desktop guidance has been around since 2009. We operationalized it in 2010. <clears throat> um, the the mo mobile guidance rolled out last year. We are operationalizing that right now, in fact, um, in April, we put out, uh, w working with the IAB, uh, the creative ad spec for mobile. So if, you, none, if any of you have not seen that, please uh, raise your hand again, we'll come visit you, or uh, please send me an email. My email is gonna be at the end of this presentation. Um, happy to get that to you. Later on this year, we'll do some other, um, some other movements in this space. But, but you know, the, the, Dave Moore also noted that it's difficult to bring together a challenge, uh, to bring together a consensus. Sure, it's challenging, but you know what? The promise of mobile made this worthy, right? The promise of multi-screen made it worthy for us to sit down in a room for two years with more than 100 companies to make sure we get this right, get it practical, get it in, in the form that we can deliver at web-wide scale. And we face some of the same problems you all face, if you think about it. 
smaller screen, new stakeholders, the touch interface, cookie-less environment, all of these things had to be taken into account as we thought about a practical solution that mirrored what we're doing on the desktop web. On the desktop web, that trillion times a month equates into a consumer can click on it reliably, and every single time, that's going to work exactly the same way. Right? We had to make the exact same promise here in mobile. If regulators are going to believe us, we have to make the exact same promise here in mobile, and we, I think we're on our way. We, we came up with great guidelines, practical guidelines. We came out with great and practical ad creative specs. Later on this year, we're going to come out with a great and practical app. A lot of good stuff here about how the industry is coming together to solve a problem on its own. It doesn't need Washington to step in. It doesn't need another regulatory body to step in.